Rick Folia, where do you get the fractionation tests with the chart? Quest seems only to produce the numbers chart. For the latest in health-related information and ways to save your life, check out the newsletter. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, Rick. I will say this, up until about a year ago, they used to actually give us the bell curves. So what fractionation is, for those of you who don't know, you know, it, it gets back to that old story and analogy about six blind men and the elephant. You know, one's feeling the side and he says he's like a wall. Another one feels the trunk and says he's like a snake. Another one feels the leg, says no, he's like a palm tree. They're all right, but they're just looking at different aspects. Well, the same thing happens with so many things in life. Here's my perspective on the LDL battle. The People that say LDL is bad and the people that say LDL is good are both right because they didn't dig deep enough. They're looking at a piece of the elephant. So the guys that are saying LDL is bad are looking at small dense LDL. The guys that are saying that it's good are looking at the large fluffy LDL. Well, you can't really get those until you fractionate. That's part of what fractionation is all about. Now, speaking of Quest and what they provide, up until about a year ago, they actually showed us the components of the bell curve for each of these things, you know, and that's what we want to know. We want to know, is the LDL bell curve shifted towards the small end, which is usually caused by prediabetes and diabetes, because those of us who have diabetic or insulin resistant metabolism going on, replace the cholesterol in the large fluffy LDLs, the healthy ones with fatty acids. When a fatty acid laden LDL passes through the liver, the liver metabolizes it. So it chews up all of our large fluffy LDL. Now, if that hit you too fast, too far with a whole bunch of way too technical stuff, I did a whole video on this for about an hour and a half a year or two ago. And if you want to look at it, you can go to YouTube, look at my channel and look at triglyceride over HDL ratio. There are several different videos on it. One of them covers this specific item. And I go through and I actually show images, markups of the Quest Labs that Rick Folia is talking about. But Rick, there are pieces of this that I don't know what you're saying. Are you saying they don't have the bell curves anymore? Well, I know that, you know, and that was what I used to use and they don't listen to me. I'm just one doc in a very large country full of docs, but I can get what I need out of it by looking at the indicators. They do give us some basic numbers that we can look at. And if you've done this enough, you can look at the numbers and figure out where you are in terms of health. And that's the goal when you do this. I hope that's responding to what you're talking about, Rick.